Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beaded ice cream earrings. I'm showing with double brick stitch and single brick stitch on top but if you're not familiar with these stitches don't worry because even a beginner could make it with my instructions. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for new similar content. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for a full list of materials, other useful resources, a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member because the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of Lebanon seed beads and they are this beige color, red, yellow and turquoise. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting the bottom part of my earrings with four beige seed beads. I'm sliding those down and I will make here the so-called double brick stitch. If you're not familiar with the brick stitches at all or with the double one, don't worry because I'm showing it in this way so a beginner could make it. Okay, and now as I'm exiting from these two beads, I go in the other two beads and I arrange them next to each other like in two small columns. Okay, this is what I have. And the holes I are pointing in this direction, as you may see. In my next step, I want to take three beige seed beads. And I'm going here in the other two. Okay. Now I have this. And now my tail thread and my main thread meet here guys that is why i want to make a knot here i'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop i've made and pull and then i will make one more knot Now I have my work really secured. Now what I want to do is go through one of those beads and exit backwards through the other one. Okay. In my next step guys, I'm taking again four beige seed beads and as I'm exiting from one of those beads I'm going here under this thread bridge between the two beads. You see where I go. And I pull. Then I go backwards through those beads that are closer to the center of my work. Now I have this. In my next step I take two more of those beautiful seed beads and I go under the same thread bridge here. It's not visible anymore but I will go like this. And then I'm going back through these two beads that I just added. And now you could cut this tail thread here. Again I take four seed beads and now as I'm making brick stitch I always go through these thread bridges between my beads and when I want to make my next row longer with more beads I make increasing brick stitch 
and in this case as I take my beads I go under the first thread bridge here okay just follow the steps and everything will be okay now I'm going under this thread bridge I go through these two beads that are closer to the center of my work and I have this then again this time I add two only the first step is with four the next steps are with two beads okay and you see here I have two columns of two in the next step I have three columns of two and in the next step I have four columns of two now in my next step I will have five columns of two I take four beads as always and because I will have more columns of two and I will be increasing I go under the first thread bridge you see there are one, two, three thread bridges and I go through the first of them. And then I go backwards through these two beads. Again I take two. I use the next thread bridge. Two. I use the next thread bridge and for the last two I'm using the same thread bridge that I've been through with the previous two beads and then I go back through the same beads okay now it comes row with six columns of beige beads that is why I'm going under the first thread bridge and always start with four each row now one by one add four more columns of two okay guys and here at the last row I'm going under the same thread bridge that I've been through with the previous two beads as I did before and then I go backwards through these same two beads okay Then in my next step I will start another row that will be with seven columns of two beads and this will be the last row of double brick stitch then I will start with single which is pretty much the same okay I take four I go under the first thread bridge because I increase then I go through these two beads And one by one, I'm going to add five more columns of two.
okay and now I have seven columns of two and what I want to do next guys is start the top part of my ice cream which are the balls and in order to do this I will continue with a single brick stitch and this time when I start a row and this will be also an increasing row I started with two beads instead of four this is the only difference between double and single here I use half the beads okay so I go under the first thread bridge again then I go through the one that is closer to the center of my work you see how similar it is then what I want to do is to go here at the end and add one more turquoise bead or mint bead if it's ice cream it should be called probably mint color then I'm going backwards through this one and again here and here and now I will continue one by one at adding at each thread bridge those beads I'm adding two more turquoise beads and in my next step I'm gonna be adding red beads again I wanna add here I have five turquoise and here I wanna add five red beads okay and I continue adding them one by one Okay, and here I need to add five beads, but I'm out of thread bridges. That is why I'm going to take one, and as I'm exiting from this thread, I'm going back in circle through the last thread here, just like this. now what I want to do is to turn directions and how I do this I go here in this red and in the following page bead then I go in the neighbor beige and backwards again through the same red in this way I'm changing directions because what I want to achieve is to exit from this final bit and in this direction now here what I need to add in the next row are 11 beads here I have 10 in this row next row will be out of 11 beads I will add 6 red and 5 mint beads okay so I take 2 again remember single brick stitch you take two in the first step and when you increase you go under the first thread bridge that you have and go like this through the one that is closer to the center now add four more red beads mm -hmm.
okay guys and now I have six red beads in total in this row and now I'm going to add five more of these mint beads okay I'm showing you the first one add four more and meet me here okay my friends and here I am where I'm adding my last fifth bead from this row and I add it at the last thread bridge that I have here okay guys and there is a little bit of difference in the next row because it will be a decreasing row here I have five plus five plus six eleven beads and in the next row I will have ten beads and I will start with two of this beautiful mint color and this time I'm going under the second thread bridge you see I'm not going here through the first like I did before but I'm going through the second because this row will be decreasing and this is uh, the difference between increasing and decreasing if you wonder why I was saying all the time it's increasing this is the difference and the other thing is the same go through the bit that is closer to the center but this time I have an additional reinforcement of my beads because they stretch as they go through the second thread bridge they stretch that is why I need to go one more time through them to reinforce to reinforce them and to make them stay more to the center of my work then I'm going to add one more mint bead after that three yellows and four red beads Okay, and you see I don't add other bead here after this thread because this row is decreasing and I don't need any more beads added here. And now I'm going to add three red, four yellows and two mint. Again decreasing row, that is why I'm going under the second thread bridge. through the one that is closer to the center of my work and reinforce then it comes one more red four yellows and two mint beads when I decrease at the last thread bridge I add only one bead 
this is another difference. Although I could increase from one side and decrease from the other. In my next row I need one mint, five yellow beads and two red beads. And I start with a mint and a yellow because I want one mint and then yellows. And again I go under the second thread bridge. Then through this yellow. And four more yellows one by one in order to have five. Okay, and here are my five yellows and two reds after that. Okay guys, and as I'm exiting from this red in this direction, I want to reposition my thread so I exit in the neighbor red, the second thread, again in this direction. And how could I do this? I go here through this one and through the following like this diagonally. I want to do this without thread showing between my beads, okay? So as I go here diagonally, I go in the neighbor one and I go again diagonally here. From here on I want to add five yellow beads and I always start with two. I go again. So here is the first thread bridge and I go through the second one, counting from the bead where I am now. And I reinforce again. And I need to add three more beads here to have five in total. Then a decreasing row of four beads, which means I take two and I go under the second thread bridge. Reinforce and add two more. Decreasing row with three beads. It's the same. Take two and go under the second thread bridge and reinforce. And add just one, 
decreasing row of two here I have only two thread bridges and I go through the second one again and I reinforce and uh, I need now one beige bead an earring finding and one beige bead and I'm going here through this bead exiting out of one of the beads I'm going in the other one and I want to make a reinforcement again Now I go in this direction. Now if you don't like the edges of your work you could go around and reinforce them. And you could zigzag through your work and cut your thread or you could make a knot if you want. with a loop and two times going through it pulling then going through some neighbor beads and cutting your tail thread okay guys and now my beaded ice cream is ready